Hi, my name is Mike. My name is Donnie. And, and we're, we're the, the Weather Dudes. Dudes. We are weathering Sherlock Holmes, yes, in the last scene I did win the battle. Yeah, by default, because Mission Impossible 4 does not come out till Wednesday. Uh, excuse me, Donnie, let me correct that. That'd be Mission Impossible 5. Number 4 would be Night and Day. Okay, I'll give you that one, Mike. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, the premises is there's, n there's random bombings, random killings happen all over the world, and of course, to the naked eye, there seems to be no dots or connections. But the Sherlock Holmes, who thinks beyond the naked eye, finds out and connects all these dots together, gets his, his faithful companion, which happened to be Dr. Watson, to help him, and now the game is now afoot. The game was afoot with $125 million, though, with the budget, and then $40 million this weekend was made, so... It's number one at the box office, number two would be the Chickmunks that came out with it. Uh, it's a lousy win, but it's still a win. Uh, apples and oranges, like I said, still a win. I walked in this movie expecting the same thing from the first movie. I didn't get, I was not surprised by it. The second movie was exactly the same thing. Fortunately, I was disappointed by the movie, uh, so my victory with the Mission Impossible might have been kind of hollow. Uh, I don't know. I, I enjoyed the first one a lot, so I expected the same thing, and I got the same thing. Uh, they still kept with the scene, you know, him processing how the fight's going to go before it happens, and then it happens, which is really cool. Well, I, I do like that part, because you kind of get that chess thing going on right now. He makes a move, and then you make a move. He makes a move, so, as you know, that all worked out. I really enjoyed that part of the movie, but the special effects in some area was overseeding the storyline, what was going on. There was a lot of shadowing on the storyline. Uh, I, I, I agree that there were some uh, overseeing of the special effects that were over the line. I don't know they were overshadowing the storyline, but at the same time, you had to attract different people. Younger crowds would go for special effects, older crowds go for some more storyline, and it kind of got a mixture of the two, so... Well, I thought the mix was a little too much. Do do one or the other. Try to please the people or try to please the older people. Whatever you got to do. I mean, they did it with the chipmunks, you know. Yeah. Uh, my other thing I think is they're trying to get this this see the uh, car the comic thing going with it, like they did in the movies, you know, like the Marvel comic books and the and the CD thing. That they try to do this with the Sherlock Holmes series, which I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, well, it's been working so far. It's no more of the box office, but uh, I like that. I still enjoy it, so it's doing good by me. So okay, okay. So what I'm going to be, as you probably already decided, we are going to disagree on this one, and I'm going to be the Watch bigger me. man here. Do a blow by blow scene here. And give him to go first. <laughs> okay, that's how the rea action reaction happens. Okay, uh, bigger man here, obviously. Sunny day for me. A little bit of the chilly side. It's worse. I think it's worth seeing. I enjoyed the first one a lot. So, but if you don't see it in theaters, don't kill yourself, please. Don't. Yeah, it's not worth killing yourself for. Trust me, I'm actually going to put it in clouded days, maybe with a little bit of rain. It's worth owning. I haven't decided whether it's worth owning for me or not. Again, it's cookie cutter like all the other movies are coming out with special effects and trying to get some kind of storyline. Let's do the special effects and add some old stuff to it, like you know Sherlock Holmes or something like that. Uh, it's better than doing a remake or putting it in, you know, some cool 3D. Yeah, that's mess. right. They are. They are. They've gone beyond remakes. We're now taking the same movies and making them 3D. Come yeah, on, that's... Hollywood. Come up with something. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. So. But we're actually going to end on a good note and go with a good question for you. And other question would be, why do you think the hot dog is called the hot dog? Say your sponsors to our YouTube channel that's comment section below or our email account, the weather dudes at gmail.com, the weather dudes all one word, or whether, whether or not to see this movie. movie. Stay, Stay tuned next time when we weather another movie for you.